this morning uh, Tara and I were talking about intimacy and uh, she suggested that I talk a little bit about intimacy <coughs> there are two directions to go with intimacy one of them is the common understood term of two people or more being intimate meaning <coughs> sharing uh, to various degrees uh, common experiences and common uh, recognizing a shared uh, commonality in interest or in uh, understanding or in activities uh, in feelings this uh, sort of intimacy is uh, what is commonly uh, understood and that we uh, strive for we look for relationships that are intimate and harmonious and so uh, we uh, are open to that and we uh, experiment with that in a way uh, to various degrees of uh, uh, of success in most cases many cases um, the uh, this sort of intimacy uh, is not long-lasting in my be uh, uh, unfolding into a marriage or into uh, a common living uh, but it, it is in general uh, not completely fulfilling uh, so there is another sort of intimacy that that is more uh, to my liking <laughs> which is the intimacy of consciousness and uh, so the intimacy of of consciousness is connected to the intimacy that we commonly refer to which is intimacy between between human beings the intimacy of consciousness is uh, the understanding that what I am, what I truly am is consciousness, awareness, presence, intelligence, life, whatever term you like to choose, whatever term speaks to you that experiences all experiences that experiences all relationship thoughts that experiences feelings and experiences uh, various perceptions and that this consciousness is what I truly am it experiences the body and the mind it experiences the world and the experience of consciousness is intimate I refer to it as true intimacy but not intimacy in the commonly understood meaning of A being intimate to B two different objects being intimate with each other it's more intimate than that it is like the intimacy of water and the wave or the intimacy of water and the ocean or the intimacy of the Sun and and the sunlight meaning it's a, an intimacy of oneness not an intimacy of duality
this intimacy of oneness escapes the mind because the mind is conditioned to perceive a me, a separate body-mind that is looking out onto the world that is looking out onto, onto others that is seeking relationships seeking uh, events, seeking uh, situations in order to, to find happiness and it does so in relationships uh, the mind seeks an object an, an, an other that can fulfill that can bring the happiness that seems to be lacking this uh, the intimacy of consciousness is is non-dual consciousness is intimate with its perception in other words in this very moment as you perceive this screen you you as consciousness you are intimately one with that perception with the perception of the screen there is no you do not experience a screen that is outside of you or an image that is outside of you what you experience is your perception which is intimately made out of you that is intimate with yourself at a zero distance from yourself like in the night dream if you're dreaming of a pink elephant that pink elephant is intimately made out of you although it appears to be an object in your dream the substance of the pink elephant is yourself the dreamer the intimacy of consciousness is, is similar to in that metaphor in that all phenomenal what we refer to as phenomenal events mind events meaning thoughts perceptions feelings and sensations emotions are intimately made out of awareness made out of consciousness this is an important point to to understand and, and allow it to to sort of ripen and, and deepen and flower and flourish in, in your understanding because once this understanding settles in your being the sense of of lack or the sense of separation that the mind experiences will come to rest into the intimacy of consciousness because the mind is made out of consciousness and although it perceives separate objects once the understanding of true intimacy ripens the mind will settle and quiet down in this understanding and your experience your mind experience which is dualistic which is perceiving a world out there that will bring you happiness will be replaced with the presence and the intimate and borderless quality of presence and consciousness that is already so but is somehow veiled by the impression that happiness is out there that intimacy is out there and I need to find the object that will make me happy I need to find the event or the person or the relationship or the uh, situation that will through my intimacy with it through my attaining it that will bring me the happiness so true intimacy is a wholeness is the wholeness of of consciousness and is completely void of any sense of lack 
And it is, it is out of this intimacy, out of this, this oneness, that the celebration, the enjoyment, the joy in the manifestation is possible. Because it is full already, it is complete already, and it's not relating to the world from a sense of lack, what can I get from it, what do I need from it, I need some more. All of that is dissolves in the, in, the, in the joy of the realization of the intimacy of consciousness. So the entire world, your entire phenomenal, so-called phenomenal experience becomes bathed in that deep understanding of the wholeness of consciousness which is your your wholeness, your totality, your, your eternity, your infinity. Thank you.